This is a Ferrograph RTS2 tip recorder test set. Um, this is the second unit I have. The other unit uh, was uh, almost fully functional when I uh, obtained it and it's working great. Um, this unit was given to me as a sort of spare parts unit but I decided to try and get it working. Um, the main thing that was broken was the um, the meter was missing because it's actually been transplanted into the other unit uh, but the owner had kept the um, the meter bezel and the uh, and the scale so I installed a new meter movement into that and I got it calibrated. Um, I've also done some refurbishment on the boards um, mainly recapping um, now the uh, the oscillator board uh, the milli voltmeter board and the distortion analyzer board which is can't really see it it's underneath <laughs> it's underneath this plate here um, this is the wow and flutter board and the power supply board is there so um, everything was seem to be working good except the distortion analyzer which I just could not get to know properly um, there's been quite a bit of work done on this unit over the years a lot of rework on these boards all these boards have been extensively reworked new transistors new capacitors new resistors all sorts of things changed um, so they're not in particularly great state they're not don't look too bad from the front um, but there is some damage to some of the tracks which has been repaired now Anyway, the distortion board, I uh, just could not get it to uh, to null out. And how that works is it you've got a one you, you set the oscillator to one kilohertz, and then you adjust the um, the distortion analyzer for full scale of that signal, and then you switch in the filters, which is uh, what the read button here does. It switches in a, a Wayne Bridge filter, and you null that one kilohertz tone out of the signal and so that makes the meter drop down and you go through successive ranges on the millivolt meter until you basically null it as far as you possibly can using the um, the, the course and the fine tuning controls on the wing uh, bridge and the phasing control on the wing bridge um, i just could not get a, anything resembling a decent dip at all you just sort of move the needle very slightly and that was it Anyway, I, I played around, tried a few different transistors and things in there over the over a period of a few days. What, what I had in stock, I didn't really have the right transistor, so I, I sent off for, the, for correct replacements for the ones that were in here. The ones that were in actually tested okay, but there weren't all the correct transistors. Every other component on the distortion board tested okay as well. So I, apart from replacing a couple of resistors, everything else was kind of left as is. Anyway, to cut a long story short, the, the transistors arrived this week. I replaced all the transistors on the distortion board, and that improved things a lot. Um, I managed to get uh, quite a quite a reasonable dip on the on the meter then, but it still wasn't going down to what I could get the the good unit up there to go down to, which is less than 0.02 percent distortion, which is possibly the distortion level of the of the oscillator itself. Um, so. I, I, th I thought maybe it's the electrolytics. I mean, even though they tested great, I used a, a Sencore LC53 unit and also a little Atlas uh, ESR tester, and they tested fine. Anyway, I, I changed the, the, the three electrolytics out on the board, and hey presto, that fixed it. <laughs> so, I don't know, uh, something really strange going on there, but it fixed it. Anyway, I'll just do a quick demo of how this thing works. So. What you do is you, you switch on to distortion 100%. Uh, I've, got a, I've got the oscillator feeding the, from here, feeding the input. It's also been monitored on the scope, so you can see there's a one kilohertz signal there. And what you do is with it on 100%, you adjust the meter until it reads 100%, which is about there. And then you switch to read. And... Um, so it's on the one volt scale now, so I go down and see I can keep going down. You get to three millivolts full scale reflection here and try and tune it. And it's very, very sensitive when it gets down to these lower ranges. So, so you can tune it with the fine tuner control and then 
dip it with the face and go down. It takes a little while to steady out and then you can dip it. The controls aren't the best, they're actually a bit worn, but um, you can get it to less than 0.2, which is great, which is actually within spec. And the slightest movement of the fine tuning control here is, is very sensitive. So it's down to less than 0.02% distortion now. So uh, that will measure full scale reflection on this, on this scale here. It will read 1% um, full scale deflection. So that's it. That's uh, the distortion analyzer working great. Um, I've got one small calibration problem on one of the uh, millivolt meter settings, which I'm still investigating. But other than that, the, uh, this unit is working great. The, uh, the frequency settings on this dial are very accurate. Um, the oscillator output is very accurate. Um, the wow and flutter works as well. I checked that meter out. That, that works great. I uh, just uh, spent the last hour or so cleaning the BNCs up and giving the front panel a bit of a spruce up. Um, so there we go. That's my parts set RTS2 photograph test set.